good morning students welcome to the class in the previous class we have completed chapter 1 or unit 1 which is is the computer about the computer graphics application of computer graphics and also the concept of multimedia in today's class we have discussed about graphic system which is the uh, which is the syllabus um, of unit 2 okay in this computer graphics unit 2 is the graphic system what is graphics types of what are the different types of graphics and also concept about the display device and how CRT is working these are the contents of today's class okay let's we discussed what is grass graphics graphics from come from Greek words graphicos okay which belongs to drawing graphics are visual images or designs on some surface such as wall, canvas, screen, paper or stone to inform, illustrate or certain or uh, sorry entertain. Okay. This is known as the graphics. Images that are generated by a computer are called computer graphics. That means the drawings which are draw in computer or using computer the drawing are held or the drawing are computed this is known as computer graphics okay some example of computer graphics are maps photographs designs and patterns or family trees diagrams or architectural engineering drawings blueprints bar chart pie chart like or also typograph, schematics, line art, flow chart and many other image forms. Okay. These are the examples of graphics. There are two types of computer graphics. First one is raster graphics. Second one is vector graphics. Okay. These are the two types of graphics. Let's discuss the what are the different types of graphics, raster graphics and vector graphics. Before going to the graphics, what types of graphics we understand? First, we know that what is pixel and what is bitmap. Okay. Pixel means in computer graphics means dots or picture element is a physical point in a picture. Picture means simply we know that dots in the picture or in the screen. Okay. A pixel is simply that smallest addressable elements of a picture represented on a screen a majority of picture that we see on our computer screen are raster images for example all of you have a mobile phone and always all of you take a selfie anywhere any place isn't it yes the selfie that you click with your mobile phone is an example of a raster image. Okay. So, so, we know that what is pixel. I hope all of you understand about the pixel. Let's come to the point bitmap. Bitmap means an image is made of using a collection of pixel referred to as bitmap. Okay, the picture which is the collection of pixel 
that picture or that image is known as bitmap image or bitmap pictures okay in computer graphics in computer graphics a bitmap is a mapping mapping from some domain for example a range of integers okay to bits that is values which are 0 or 1 it is also called a bit array or bitmap index that means bitmap is a bitmap image is a collection of pixels when it is stored in the computer it is in the form of 0 or 1 bits stored in bit form in 0 or 1 okay that means binary form so these are the some basic terms that we know pixel and bitmap let's come to the point we discussed what is raster graphics a raster image is a collection of dots called pixels each pixel is a tiny colored square when an image is scanned the image is converted to a collection of pixels called raster image okay scanned graphics and web graphics file which is in jpeg or jif form are most common form of raster images the resolution of raster or scanned image is expressed in terms of dpi dpi means what dots per inch okay the higher the dpi the better the resolution that means the deep dots per inch is jitna higher hoga jitna jyada hoga uska resolution utna acha aayega okay so what is raster graphics raster graphics is a collection of dots called pixel that means raster graphics is a collection of pixels okay and each pixel is a tiny square small square like this okay इससे भी छोटा हो सकता है, ओके? Typically, laser printers print 300 to 600 dpi. That means laser printer print 300 dot per inch to 600 dot per inch. The output quality, the output quality of a printing device is depend upon the resolution of bitmap screen. Okay, raster images do not scale up very well in comparison to the vector images. Okay, when scanning a raster image larger number of colors will be required to render a raster image reproduction of the original source at work accurately how the original image is looks like if we draw in that type then large number of colors required okay the larger the image the more space the image file will take up that means if the image is larger then the memory space that image takes more memory space or more disk space okay this is the example of raster graphics or one image of raster graphics here is a some pick here is one ball small portion we will enlarge it it looks like this okay this small picture picture portion we enlarge it 
it looks like this see this is the example of raster image next come to the point vector graphics a vector image is a collection of connected line curve that produce objects produce objects raster image is a collection of dots but vector image is a collection of connected lines curves that produce an object okay when creating a vector image in a vector illustration program node or drawing points are inserted which lines and curves connected those together when we draw a vector image we connected line and curves together okay but in raster graphics we are connected the pixels or collection of dots or pixels okay but in vector graphics it is the collection of line and curves to produce an object or image this is the same principle as connected the dots okay each node line and curve is defined in the drawing by the graphic software by a mathematical description okay each node and line and curve is defined in the drawing by the graphic software by a mathematical description that means when we draw the object we are come we are using line curve nodes isn't it the line curve or node are defined in the drawing by a mathematical description okay every aspects of vector object is defined by math included node position not only node position node location line line length and on down the line that means the when we draw a vector object we defined the node position node location line length etc okay the test objects are created by connecting node line and curve every letter in a font starts out as a vector object vector images are object oriented while raster images are pixel oriented that means that only difference is vector images and raster images is vector image is object oriented raster images are pixel oriented the only difference is vector images are object oriented raster images are pixel oriented okay in a vector object colors are like clothes over the top of a skeleton is it okay that means when is in a skeleton we cover the cloth is look like that that the vector object is this way corel draw and illustrator create text object using vector graphics that can be easily manipulated so these are the two software which is used in vector graphics not only two software other softwares are also there but here is the example corel draw and illustrator illustration means adobe illustrator are create text and objects using vector graphics that can be easily manipulated okay next vector images are defined by math not pixel that means in vector images we use what line curve node in these things so vector images are defined by math not pixel pixel only used in raster graphics 
that can they can be scaled off or down without any loss of quality here in vector image when we enlarge the image the image cannot lose the quality the image looks in that way if the image is small look like how it look like if the image is also large it enlarge it it looks like that when an illustration program or drawing program size a vector image of or down it simply multiples the mathematical description of the object by a scaling factor what is that here in raster graphics what in raster graphics when we enlarge the picture we enlarge the resolution or we enlarge the ha um, huh, yes we enlarge the resolution then it look like clear but in vector graphics only we multiply the mathematical description suppose for an example we draw a circle which radius is 2 cm the circle is small circle draw looks like a small circle when we multiplies the radius into 4 or enlarge the radius or enlarge the circle so what do we do we do the radius is 4 cm or 6 cm then the circle is large in this way in vector graphics only simply multiplies the mathematical description okay the math is simply recalculated to produce an object twice the size of the original when we the size is twice or thrice only we simply calculated the math because vector images scale off or down without the loss of image quality they can be output at any resolution that a printer is capable of producing okay unlike raster images quality is not limited by dots per inch or scanning resolution this is the big reason that vector graphics are so popular for clip art since vector images are composed of objects not pixels pixels only used in raster graphics you can change the color of individual objects without worrying about individual pixel when we change the color in vector graphics don't worry the pitch easily we can change it but in raster graphics we can change the pixel wise okay we enlarge it and one on pixels color we also modify it but not in case of vector graphics coloring vector objects is similar to coloring with crayon in a coloring book a drawing program will enable a user to click inside an object and define its color in a vector graphics when you draw an object it will allow the user to click inside an object and define its color simply you can also use in using in paint ms paint but ms paint is the example of a raster graphics when you enlarge the size it will show you a pixel okay a drawing program will also enable a user to define the color and width of lines okay coloring vector image is much easier than the coloring bitmap in vector images coloring is easily made but in bitmap the coloring is some complex okay vector images do not need to keep track of each individual pixel in an image 
only give the mathematical description in raster graphics or raster images it will keep track the individual pixels location or pin individual pixels uh, pixels uh, memory space okay but in raster vector images it will only keep track the mathematical description for this reason vector graphics or vector files are small in size as comparison to raster graphics okay raster graphics size is large also files memory space occupy more memory space occupy but in vector graphics it's occupy small memory space okay vector files are composed of long mathematical description detecting every aspect of the graphics this is the example of vector graphics in the same picture previously we shown which is in raster graphics at that time the images looks like small small squares in between that when you enlarge it but in raster graphics it will only show you clearly only two colors are there so it is it when we take the color or when you put the color in the here it is easy okay this is the small portion we enlarge it or it looks like this only simply partition or two colors are there okay next difference between raster graphics and vector graphics raster graphics are composed of pixels vector graphics are composed of paths paths means line curve okay nodes these are the in raster graphics refresh process is independent of the complexity of the image but in vector graphics flicker when the number of primitives in the image become too large primitive means the of the things which are used to draw the vector graphics means wow. line point curve uh, sorry line curve nodes these are the things in raster prim graphics prim graphics primitives are specified in terms of end point and must be scan converted into corresponding pixel but in vector graphics scan conversion is not required in raster graphics can draw mathematical curve polygon boundaries of curve primitive only by pixel approximation but in vector graphics it can draw continuous and smooth line raster graphics cost is less but in vector graphics cost more as compared to the raster graphics okay they occupy more space who is raster graphics depends on the image quality but in vector graphics it occupy less space some for example of file extensions are there raster graphics file extensions are .bmp .tif .gif .jpg etc or uh, vector graphics file extensions are .svg .eps .pdf .ai .exf these things are what is um, what is the things uh, these extensions are we will cover in next slide okay some image what are the different image file format in raster graphics and vector graphics vector graphics as compared to the raster graphics in raster graphics bmp means windows bitmap that the picture which is you draw in ms paint or pcx pcx means paint brush TIFF, TIFF means tag interleaved file format. JPEG, JPEG stands for Joint Photographic Export Group. GIF, 
जी आई ग्राफिक्स इंटरचेज फर्माट यू अल अफ यू हार्ड दिस टर्मस जेपी जी जे एफ आई थिंक यू आर फैमिलियर पी एन जी पी एन जी स्टाण फर पोर्टेबुल नेटवर्क ग्राफिक्स पी एच डी एड अफ फोटोसप सीपीटी कोरल फोटो पेन्ट दीज आर द इमेज फाइल फर्माट्स अफ राष्ट्र ग्राफिक्स इन भैक्टर ग्राफिक्स ईपीएस ईपीएस मीनस एनकैपुलेटेड पोस्ट स्क्रिप्ट डब्ल्यू एम एफ डब्ल्यू एम एफ मीनस विंडोज मेटा फाइल ए आई मीनस एडअप इलुस्ट्रेटर सी डी आर सी डी आर मीनस कोरल ड्र डीएक्सएफ डीएक्स मीनस अटो कैड एस भिजि एस भिजि स्टैंड फर स्केलेबल भैक्टर ग्राफिक्स एंड लास्ट वन इज मैक्रोमीडिया फ्लाश दीज आर द सम इमेज फाइल फर्माट हुई आर यूज इन वैक्टर ग्राफिक्स ओके नाउ डिस्कस व्वेन एंड ह्वाय उज वैक्टर ग्राफिक्स और राष्ट्र ग्राफिक्स ओके इफ यू आर वर्किंग विथ मेनली सलीड कलर ऑब्जेक्ट्स मैनिपुलेटेड टेक्स्ट और मेनी स्मॉल ऑब्जेक्ट्स देन वी यूज वेक्टर ग्राफिक्स दैट प्रोग्राम विल सेव योर टाइम ओके इफ यू आर वर्किंग विथ कम्प्लिकेटेड ड्रॉप सैडो और थ्री डी इफेक्ट्स टेक्सचर्स फोटोग्राफ्स देन यू चूज द राष्ट्र ग्राफिक्स राष्ट्र ग्राफिक्स इज द बेटर चॉइस टू इम to overcome these things to drop the shadows and also to give the 3d effects textures these are we also work in raster graphics easily okay so in which place we use raster graphics and where we use vector graphics these are there are <coughs> here are some examples same example or same drawing but it shows in raster graphics how it looks and in vector graphics how it looks same picture same picture in vector graphics it look like this but in raster graphics it only looks in pixel small small squares are there these are the pixels but in vector graphics here points are there point that means point node to node we are joint this so these are the node curve line these are also connected in vector graphics okay this is the difference raster graphics and vector graphics raster graphics image are look like this vector graphics images are look like this there are some file extension which are used in raster graphics and some are used in vector graphics dot png png is portable network graphics in a laptop when we uh, take a screenshot the file are stored in which format png format okay photoshop document the extension is dot psd joint photographic expert group the extension is dot jpg or jpeg also gif means dot gif means graphics interchange format bitmap extension is dot bmp in vector graphics dot ai means adobe illustrator image dot eps means encapsulated photo script image dot wmf means windows meta file image dot ps means photo script image dot hsbg means scalable vector graphics okay these are the some file extensions used in raster graphics and vector graphics so i hope all of you understand 
what is raster graphics and what is vector graphics also difference between what are the differences raster graphics and vector graphics let us discuss what is display device a display device is an output device for presentation of information for visual tactile auditive reception acquired stored or transmitted in various forms okay so display device is what display device is an output device in the output device what we will display presentation or some visuals or some stored pictures in different form we are uh, with different things we are displaying output device when the input information is supplied as an electrical signal the display is called electronic display the dis in output device is a display display device when we show some things some pictures some images these are when the input information is supplied through an electrical signal the display is called electronic display the most commonly used display device is a video monitor okay the operation of most video monitor based on crt crt means cathode ray tube okay the following display devices are refresh cathode ray tube random scan and raster scan display color monitor or color crt monitor uh, dvst dvst means direct view storage tubes again flat panel display lookup table these are the some display devices but in syllabus we will cover only what is the working principle of cathode ray tube and random scan and raster scan these things only we cover let us discuss cathode ray tube or crt crt stands for cathode ray tube crt is a technology used in traditional computer monitors and television computer monitor is also crt technology tv monitor is also tv uh, we also crt screen okay the image on crt display is created by firing electrons from back of the tube of phosphorus located towards the front of the screen in crt some firing electrons are come from back side also towards the phosphorus located screen okay once the electron hit the phosphorus they light up and they are projected on a screen once the electrons hit in the phosphorus screen or in the monitor screen they light up and they projected on a screen the color you view on the screen is produced by a blend of rgb light rgb means red blue and green light okay this is the picture of crt monitor this this is the connector pins it is the base it is known as the electron gun okay. this is the focus system focusing system also here a, in a small pink color lines are there this is known as control grid voltage which is control the voltage okay or these are the deflect plates y deflect and x deflect plates or this is the screen or phosphorus coated screen this is the picture of crt and also discuss how it is operated okay 
it is a it is an evacuated glass tube so it is an evacuated glass tube an electron gun at the rear of a, of the tube produces a beam beam of electrons which is direct towards the screen of the tube by a high voltage typically 15000 to 20000 volts the electron gun gun produces a beam of electrons and directly towards the phosphorus coated screen the voltage the voltage is high in range between 15000 to uh, 15000 to 20000 volts okay the inner side screen is coated with phosphorus substance which gives the light when it struck by electrons and the operation on the operation of control gates control is the velocity of electrons before they hits the phosphorus it controls the velocity of electrons before they hit the phosphorus that means the role of the control grid is to control the velocity of electrons or uh, electrons before they hit the phosphorus the control grid voltage determines how many electrons are actually hit the or actually form the electron beam the negative control voltage is the is fewer of the electrons that pass through the gate and positive control voltage is maximum okay thus control grid con control grid controls intensity of the spot where the beam strikes the screen that means control grid only control the voltage the focusing system concentrate the electron beam so it convey it coverage to the small point when hits the phosphorus coating focusing point only concentrated on the electron beam then deflection system there are two deflection x deflect and y deflects deflection system directs the beam which decides the point when beam strikes the screen the beam strikes either horizontally or vertically okay deflection system on the crt of the crt consists two pairs parallel pair of parallel plates which are vertical deflection plate and towards horizontal deflection plates okay voltage applied to vertical and horizontal deflection plates is controlled vertical and horizontal deflection respectively vertical means top to bottom horizontal means left to right okay there are two techniques in crt to used for producing images one is vector scan or random scan another one is raster scan some components or some main components of crt are one is electron gun control electrode focusing system deflection yoke phosphorus coated screen individually we can read what is the role of this components first one is electron gun this is the electron gun okay this is the electron gun consists of a series of elements primarily a heating filament and a cathode it creates a source of electrons which are focused into a narrow beam directed towards the 
face of the CRT. Then control electrode. Control electrode. This this pink lines are uh, vertical lines are so here. This is the control electrode. It is used to turn the electron beam on and off. Only the responsibility of the control electrode is to turn the electron beam on and off. Okay. Then focusing system. The role of focusing system is to create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into a narrow beam. These green lines are the focusing system. The role of focusing system is to create a clear picture by focusing the electrons into a narrow beam towards the phosphorus coated screen. Okay. Then deflection yoke. There are, it is used to control the direction of the electron beam. Deflection yoke only used for direct the, control the dire, direction of the electron beam. It creates an electric or magnetic field which will bend the electron beam as it passes through the area. In CRT, the yoke is linked to a sweep or scan generator which is connected to the sweep generator creates a fluctuating electric or magnetic potential these two there are two uh, deflection yokes x deflect and y deflect y deflect top to bottom x deflect left to right in this way it directs Then last one is phosphorus coated screen. Okay. Which one is a phosphorus coated screen? This blue line. Okay. The inside front surface of every CRT is coated with phosphorus. Phosphorus glow when a heavy energy electron beam hits them. Phosphorus screen is the term to use to characterize the light given off by a phosphor after it has been exposed to an electron beam. Okay, these are the five components of CRT. Let's come to discuss the come to the point advantages of CRT. CRT are less expensive other than the other display technology. They operate at only at any resolution, geometry and aspect ratio without increasing the quality. What is resolution? What is aspect ratio? All these are all these things are discussed in the next class. Okay. CRT produce the very best color and gray scale for all professional calibrations. CRT has also excellent viewing angle. It maintains good brightness and gives long life service. Okay. These are the advantages of CRT. Then this, let us discuss disadvantages of CRT. CRT monitors consume more electric power than 2 inch LCD at the same size. Some CRT have a rounded spherical or cylindrical shape screen. CRT monitors emit radiation that is greater than LCD monitor. Then this radiation has a negative impact on the eye. So that eyes get tired 
or even created a headache to those who are sensitive. CRT monitors is relatively bright but not as bright as LCD. CRT monitors also have very large size and weight so it is not suitable for narrow rooms because it takes a lot of spaces. So students these are the all about what is graphics and what are the different types of graphics one is raster graphics and another one is vector graphics and what is display device and we study what are the uh, sorry uh, CRT about CRT and working principle of CRT here are some questions you students are practice it define graphics name the type of graphics what is raster graphics and vector graphics display device define CRT define pixel differentiate between raster graphics and vector graphics explain the working principle of CRT all these questions answer you will get in this class in this video okay thank you